I literally did this whole entire video and have to read it because I forgot one important thing. X Men Colossus Bloodline was requested by X Brandon. You should go follow him, he makes great content. This is the creative team and it stays the same for the whole entire five issue run. This comic is there to explain the bloodline origins of Colossus. He's related to Gregory Rasputin. Think the villain from the Anastasia movie, because that's who he is. Just he's a mutant in this universe. So he's a mutant. And Mr. Sinister finds him and wants to make a deal with him because Mr. Sinister, as you know, wants to make the ultimate mutant. So he convinces Rasputin to have as many children as possible with as many women as possible to increase the chances. Which he does. On his deathbed, Rasputin breaks his soul up into every single woman that is currently pregnant so he can go forth and try to come back one day. As it turns out, as members of the family die off that are related to him, the soul condenses itself in the rest of the people until they can come back in one form. The art is fantastic, especially when it's let able to just do its thing. It is on point for the dark tone of this. Also, this is not really kid friendly. Even the app says teen are up. Also, according to Essex, the X gene is actually the Essex factor. Don't think the dark tone gets rid of the fact that there can be beautiful art as well. Also, this is my favorite. This is a self portrait by Colossus because he thinks he's a monster. Also, if you didn't know, he's a very talented artist in the X universe. So towards the beginning of the story, Colossus is being haunted by nightmares, because as it turns out, Mr. Sinister is going around killing all of his relatives. And like I said, the soul condenses every time one of them dies. It comes down to where there are just four left. His uncle, his cousin, his brother, and himself. His uncle self-immolates himself. Mr. Sinister kills his cousin. So it comes down to a death battle between him and his brother, Mikael. To prove that he's better, Mikael teleports him to a different dimension, one that there's no escaping from. In that time, Mr. Sinister's hold is broken over his brother. His brother does go back, but then he realizes that he doesn't actually want to kill Colossus because he's supposed to be a good brother. So he goes back and rescues Colossus, and then he stays in that dimension so that he'll never die there because of the way that dimension works. So even if Colossus dies, Rasputin will be trapped in that dimension and he'll have no way to get out. In the end, he tells Colossus to have a big family because the more spread out the soul is, the less control that Rasputin has over anybody. Because as it turns out, Rasputin's soul being in you kind of manifest in lots of mental disorders. Like, a, a lot. I would highly recommend this. It is very good. Again, not for children. It is very violent. And overall, it is a very quick read. And this all does happen in the 616, so everything in this is canon.